Welcome back, my loyal Canadian subjects. Your leader, Wilfrid Laurier, the superb of Canada, has returned. And it's time that we continue our Civilization VI playthrough in the Gathering Storm DLC with the Canadian Empire, baby. And in this video, we got war. Trying to liberate the capital of Moroi. We only have 14 turns left to complete this military emergency. And I gotta say, the Ottoman Empire, man, they brought an army that I was not prepared for. Look at these Janissaries. Very strong musket, uh, musketman unit that is unique to Persia. And not only are there Janissaries here, there are cores and also an army, a three-star. Now, when I look at the, um, the domination, our military strength is at 1239. And they got a strength of 821. So I really think that uh, they've combined a lot of their forces. We can see this uh, Janissary Corps down here. They got some cavalry. They got a bombard. They got another cavalry corps right there. Two Janissaries. We don't know how much uh, naval units they have. But I really think that once we can we, once we can crush some of these big time units, I don't think they're going to have much more to uh, be able to fight back with. Um, and as long as I present that line that is completely reinforced with our musketmen, with our cavalry, and with our bombards, I think we should be good. But 14 turns... I'm gonna be happy to be I'm gonna to have to be very efficient here. So for this video, we're gonna turn off the yield icons and the resource icons. A lot of war is gonna be happening, and uh, I want you guys to be able to see all. So our new research. Um let's see, what are we going after for research? We just finished what did we just finish? Oh crap. It's not gonna show me what we just finished. Steam power, we got the railroad, industrialization. Was it military service so that we could upgrade the cavalry? It might have been military service. So let's move on to ballistics which will give us the upgrade from our crossbowmen into field cannons it's not a bad way to defend yourself especially if uh hungry in the south decide to attack if i can upgrade these crossbowmen well in fact i can give this guy an upgrade what the hell arrow store all you guys have upgrades no it's just that guy but like these crossbowmen that are in the encampments the crossbowmen in pasar Gede, the crossbowmen that are in all of the cities it's about time that we upgrade those guys just in case someone de uh, decides to declare war on us in Halifax, we have the factory done. Oh, yeah. And what we also want to do is bring electricity to our Canadian Empire. As of right now, nothing is powered. I don't know about the other sibs. If I take a look at the uh, the world climate, the, uh, yeah, the CO2 levels in the atmosphere are at 251. It's not that bad. My contribution is 164. So it doesn't look like there's any other civilizations out there with coal plants, oil plants. <laughs> Nothing like that, so we can be the first civilization to have electricity in our empire. So let's do that right now. Um, now, what's the coal power plant? This is where we're getting to the point of the game where I'm still actually, still actually kind of new to it. The further on we get, you know, um, automatically converts converts any amount of coal into power for cities. So we have an extra 130 coal, and we're making nine coal per turn. So we have a lot of extra coal. Uh, within six tiles that need it <coughs> each turn at the rate of one coal equals a four power. All right, so we're going to be getting plenty of power in there. Um, but I only need one coal power plant per six tiles. So if I'm getting a coal power plant in Ottawa, it's already going to power up Toronto. Is that what you got? Is that what it's saying? So I got to figure that out. So how many tiles away is Halifax? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it won't power Halifax. So for Halifax. We're going to have to get that coal power plant going. All right. There you go. Next up, we got Toronto. One, two, three, four, five. Toronto is within range of the coal power plant. So let's see if when this coal power plant gets completed, if it powers up Toronto. In the meantime, for Toronto, uh, we're good for housing. Uh, you know what? I could use... I could use, let me just think here. I'm thinking I could use some more military units just in case. Oh, uh, what else could I build? You know what? Builders could be useful to continue to improve the empire. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to wonder whether or not this is going to be enough to conquer them. Because, I mean, with the railroads, I could construct a unit, say, in eight turns, and he could be ready to run over there to Moroi before the 14 turns. Especially like a knight unit, 48, and it's 20 iron. Uh, I don't really need them, though. Now, nah, you know what? We're gonna we're not going to do anything like that. I think my military is good enough. We see their strength, and my frigate's also around the, uh, the way to deal with any naval units. We just got to take care of these Janissaries. So, we're just going to go for a builder for Toronto. We still want to get the rest of the NHL 
ready to go in Montreal, Vancouver, and Calgary. So some builders are necessary. Uh, we're still saving... Oh yeah, we're saving our fate to purchase more units. So what can I purchase here? Can't get a musketman just yet. I can get another cavalry. I want to save up for musketman though. 20 niter. We're making 10 niter per turn. Yeah. Alright, so we're just going to use our faith for musketmen. Alright, we are currently in the golden age for another... Oh yeah, a while. We think we are good. So let us continue here, ladies and gents. Let's keep an eye on the Ottoman Empire and see what kind of forces they bring our way. What do you think about this? No, I am not giving you any uh, uh, niter resources that you're going to then use against our ally, the Swedes, Christina. And in fact, we got to keep an eye on Christina's border. She might be losing some units. Here we go. All right, so there's an Ottoman cavalry corp that is vulnerable. He brought him right to our borders. What are you doing? That fool. All right, so we'll be able to bombard that guy. I won't even have to sacrifice a unit to go out there. But this is what I mean about the Canadian Empire. We just need to bring the front, the Canadian front, their way. Rising smoke, humming machinery, the power of nature has been harnessed by Canada in the cause of power and progress. Three plus, uh, three plus era score. Man, I'm having a tough time talking. What the hell? So let's see. Yeah, there you go. So Ottawa is powered now. Two power can be used to enhance this city. And it is fully powered. Two plus power from resources consumed this turn. So I don't know. Consuming. Oh, I see. So you get, what, two power for every? So I'm consuming one coal right there. Now it's Toronto. Toronto is powered. Look at that. All right. So now how does that work? Two plus power. How does the power even work? I'm going to start reading this. Hang on. Two usable of two required. Status is powered. Uh, buildings or projects which require power are fully effective. Oh, I see. So the factory is the only thing that requires electricity right now. Uh, let me just read this. Build a power plant in this city or nearby city and ensure that you have a stockpile of resources it uses, which I do. I, don't, I Not only am I making nine coal per turn, but I have a stockpile of 130, so that's good. Build a dam district and a hydroelectric, a hydroelectric dam building. Uh, oh, that's another way to get power? The dam? Okay, research... Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. So I only have one building right now that requires power, and that's the factory. All right, so I'm starting to see it now. So the uh, so Ottawa, we're using one power for the factory, and I have another power that I could use where? We're good for housing. Amenity is good. Uh, the zoo will give us some more amenities. We're good for that. I think I might need to get that theater square for... Uh, culture we don't need a campus in our capital no it's not gonna work out uh holy site for some extra faith per turn we're making enough faith per turn we're at 86 faith per turn so we don't need anything there uh zoo the dam for some power what would that give us that gives us housing and it ensures that this river won't flood anymore where can i put the dam uh, i don't want to put the dam anywhere there those are some good tiles uh Ruhr valley 20% production in this city and 1 plus production for each mine and quarry in this city. Where can I build that? No, I don't want that there. Uh, Alright, so I don't know what I want to do in Ottawa just yet. I think the theater square for that extra... Yeah, let's go theater square. And in fact, we can get the theater square. Ooh, 5 and 6. Damn, that'd be good. I need the food, though, in Ottawa because we have so much housing and amenities. I want to continue to grow, so I'm not taking away those tiles. What we're going to do is, yeah, we're just going to do a plus two right here for Ottawa. If I put it right there, one, two, three, one. No, I'm putting the uh, one, two, three. I'm putting the, yeah, I'm putting the NHL right there for Ottawa, which means I can put the theater square right there and get that extra plus two culture per turn. All right, there you go. Build that theater square. I don't think I have a feel that theater square anywhere. A uh, significant blizzard named Oleg continues nowhere near us, so we're good. Uh, Governor Victor is now established in Boktri. So Victor is going to help us out with defense. Any units within that uh, territory. Toronto does not provide enough food. All right, yeah. I know the volcanoes just went off, so I got to get some more builders in there to improve them. Will do. Vancouver needs more housing. Yeah, that's on its way. Uh, we got the, uh, the historic moment and we need to get power for Quebec city. So if I have the uh, coal plant being built in Halifax, one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to power up Quebec city and it's going to power up Tarsus. So Tarsus, we don't need a coal power plant. So I'm going to stop building the coal power plant over there. Uh, considering we're on the, uh, the border with the Hungarian empire, Tarsus, get that medieval wall done. Uh, now, Hagmatana, we got to get the factory done. Factory, factory. 
So perhaps in past our gay day, we get the coal power plant done. Because one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. No, we're, that's not going to work out. And one, two, three, four, five. That's not going to work out either. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're going to need multiple coal plants over here. Uh, Quebec City. So again, we're right up against Hungary. So let's make sure that we have the walls to be able to defend ourselves. Renaissance Walls raises the strength of your outer defenses to the highest possible level. And provides 3 plus tourism after advancing to the Conservation Civic. Alright, and also Siege Towers and Battering Rams are not effective. But I'm just looking for that extra defense, just in case Hungary wants to declare war on us. Uh, still getting our railroads done, so bringing Passar Gede into the mix. Uh, you, sir, we were going to go down here and connect uh, this railroad, railroad to Hagmatana. Uh, you, we're going right through our encampments so that we lock up all of that. Alright, now here we go. I'm going to use the Bombard. Or the, uh, the, uh, the District Range. There you go. Hit that guy up a little bit. You move this way. If I move the Bombard, can he attack in the next turn? No, he cannot. What about you? Can you attack? Yes, you can. Alright, so the Bombards will not be able to attack once they've moved once. But I can use this Bombard that hasn't moved. Is he taken out? Still not taken out. Now, hang on a second. I want to kill him. But I don't want to put myself out there to be counterattacked by another cavalry unit. So we have him there. Uh, you're going to have to move up. Yeah, you're going to have to move up here. So we're going to move up our musketman. There you go. So he's going to be there. But what i got to make sure is he can't be attacked from three different areas. So you, you're going to go right there. Cavalry unit, yeah, you're going to come out here. And we're going to see what they got. So they got Janissaries in these two cities. If they want to come out and attack me, they can. I just got to make sure that these guys are protected. You over there. Uh, you, sir. Uh, we're going to do a switcheroo with this guy. This musketman does not yet have a core. Doesn't have another unit alongside of him. Uh, so we're going to wait on that. You. Uh, I could go out there and attack, but we don't want that. Just go up there for right now. You. Uh, no, don't put him there. We want the line. Yeah, we want the line. I don't need multiple attacks happening. You over there. You, we're trying to get the railroad going down to Tarsus. Uh, we're going to stay put. We're going to stay put. Stay put. All right, so our cavalries are in position. I still have to get this guy, this musketman core, uh, healed up. You're going to stay put. All right, so our frigate in the ocean, baby. We got some quadrareems that we're just going to avoid. There you go. There's an Ottoman quadrareem. All right, so I'm going to let the barbarians take care of that guy. I'm not going to be worried about this. Now, I think the quadrareems can come in the coast and attack. So, let's get into the ocean so they can't even attack us, all right? But I want to leave... Uh, that's that's another uh, military unit that will improve their military strength, right? So, if their strength's only at 827 and ours is at 1373, we got the upper hand here. Uh, we got no power in Quebec. All right, we're going to work on that. Uh, let me just see down here. You can't move you just yet so you know what just move up slightly you guys are still healing up so we got a lot of musketmen that still need to heal up and can i get another musketman yes i can so i'm going to use 480 faith to purchase another musketman and he is going to link up with this musketman that'll give us another core that we can use to replace the grim volunteers who went down in the last video oh those poor canadian soldiers they, uh, they sacrificed themselves so that we could figure out how to defeat <laughs> the Ottomans, baby. Alright. So let's see what we got. I might have to... Oh, I'll have to wait to the end of this turn. Oh my god, what do you think of this? You want to make peace, but I heard the war thing go off. Did someone declare war on us? What do you think of this? He wants to make peace. So, I wouldn't mind peace, but you're going to have to give me Maroi. And Moroi is not there, so I'm going to refuse that deal one way or another. You will give me what I want. What happened with the war? Hang on a second. After a shift of envoys, Jehokia City... Oh, is Jehokia declare war on us? Jehokia might be a uh, uh, an allied city-state of the Ottoman Empire right now, which is not good for us. Hang on a second. Well, what's going on? Yeah, there's some, there's some gunfights going on. Valletta might be attacking. All right, so hang on a second. Chokia has made peace with Robert de Bruce. Oh, Chokia, right, because I'm at war with Robert de Bruce. Because Robert de Bruce attack. Oh, Stockholm and Vastress is under attack. From who? We don't know. Is it the Russians or is it the, the, the Scots? Christina's still at war with Hungary, the Scots, and Russia. And now two of her cities of Vastress and Stockholm under attack. 
Now, I'm still at war with, uh, I can't make peace for another turn. But, uh, we're only at war because they declared war on my ally. They have no choice. Chokia has made peace with Robert de Bruce. Chokia has made peace with Suleiman. Chokia has made peace with Candy. After a shift in envoys, you are no longer the Caesarian of Chahokia. Uh, Bandar Brunei has declared war on Chahokia. Bologna. Bologna. Uh, and Manitsor. So I think it's the Ottomans, yeah. Significant blizzard. Oleg is now weaker. And there you go. So let me just go to the city-states for a second right here. Chahokia. Caesarian, the Ottomans. Oh my god, they, ch they took my Chahokia mounds, boys. So Chahokia is now a member of the enemy squad. But they're not in our way, which is good. I don't know, are they at war with anyone else? They're at war with... No, they're not at war with the Maori. It'd be kind of nice if the Maori took them out. Alright, so we'll have to deal with that later. But now we're just going to continue the march. Hang on one second. Oh, damn congestion. Don't stop me now, baby. We got a war to win. Alright, so... Right, the uh, Jehokia is now allied with the Ottomans. The Ottomans... Taking away my allied city-states, my Chahokia mounds, but that's alright. Once we conquer them, perhaps we can become uh, Caesarian of Chahokia again. So, what I'm looking around, what we want to do is to get to Moroi in 12 turns, we've got to take out this city first, raise it to the ground, or maybe even trade it to the Nubians along with Moroi, just so that they can have that extra city perhaps get back in the game. Create a nice little butt Man, this music's kick. This is like some war music right now. Create a nice little buffer between us and the Ottomans, right? Because they're going to be wanting that revenge. So we got to take out uh, this city. We got to take out this district. And we got to take out Maroi. Now, the good thing, or well, the good news is that they don't have walls. But they could be building a wall because, I mean, I'm, I'm already building Renaissance walls. They don't even have an ancient wall in Maroi yet. And if they do, it's going to be a lot harder to get in. So let's get after them right now. Uh, all right. So... I don't want to get next to this city because I don't know how many units they can bring. We want to kill this Janissary army. All right, so major defeat. There's a lot of defeats right there. Uh, I can move you up to... All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do one tile at a time right here. You're going to move that way. Uh, you're going to move that way. I want to get you healed up, so you're going to move back. You're going to move that way. You're going to move that way. You're going to move that way. Now, I could move up one. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to move up here. Is there anything else? No, it doesn't look like there's anything else. So, these Janissaries will be able to attack my cavalry, but that's okay. Because it's only one attack, alright? These musketmen are up next. Then these guys are in there. These guys are there. Alright, we're going to wrap around these Janissaries right here. Block them in. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we can go right there. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much. Alright, so you're going to move right up there. Bombards, we're going to put you in position down here. Oh, other bombard, we'll go on the railroad. There you go. Where was that military engineer that I had? Did he get lost over here? Yeah, he must have got taken out. I remember I was building this railroad this way. He must have got taken out, son of a bitch. Alright, I can bring him back over. Uh, you, let's get that railroad done. Alright. Uh, now, I could go and attack this guy, but I want him to attack us. Reason being, I want him. I want to know that he's injured, and I don't want to injure my guy just so that they can have cavalry units roll up and hurt us. This guy is in danger right now. This Canada corpse. He could be attacked three different times, but you know, it's it's going to be that kind of war, war of attrition. So I need to get them to attack us. Uh, this guy will be stranded in the open with a little bit of damage, which means that I can then come one, two, and three him, or just go straight for the city with my bombards in place. Uh, so you're going to stay put. You, you're going to move up there. And we are going to link those two musket men together. Uh, we're making 86 per turn. How many more can I get? Musket men, 480. All right, so once we get another, uh, what is it, 20 niter, 40 niter, I can get another two. Yeah, I need another, uh, what is it, like 30 niter right there. Uh, you, we are going to move you up. Uh, you, you're good to go now. You're healed. Get up to the road. You and you. Still healing up. So we got some guys that need to uh, need to lick their wounds. Other than that, I think we are in place. Do I want to move around? Put a third guy in position there. No, 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 no. That's good enough. That's the wall. Yeah, that's the wall. Yeah, I don't want to go north. That's the wall. Because, again, this is a fog of war. They could have another bombard right there. I, I don't know what's coming. So that's, that's good enough for right now. Let's take it slow. 
All right, so we got the harbor done in Vancouver. Now, in Vancouver, I want to build a bunch of things. The lighthouse would be nice, but I think what I'm going to do in Vancouver is I'm going to use my money that I'm making, 305 per turn, to get all the buildings uh, because we want to take advantage of the Venetian arsenal wonder that we constructed, which will give us two or a free naval unit for every one that we build. I tried I tried purchasing one, which was the frigate, but apparently if you, you purchase it, you don't get that double. So, uh no point in wasting any time. We should always be producing naval units here. So, privateer, 19 turns. Get her done. All right, that's actually two privateers done in 19 turns. And uh, as Vancouver's, um, what's it called? Yeah, I mean, I can even focus on production here. 18, but then it's going to grow, and then it's going to drop. So, let's just let uh, Vancouver continue to grow. I'm going to get these builders eventually, and we got to just we gotta build up everything over here again. But the war's got me sidetracked right now. Uh, that's where all of our resources are going into. Military engineer, we're still just uh, building that railroad on the front lines between us and Hungary, making sure that we can defend ourselves. All right, so we got the railroad going to pass our gay day. Fortify, 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 fortify. Oh, you, you're actually gonna hard fortify. Hang on a second, wake up. Fortify till healed. There you go. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just uh, skipping turns to these guys. All right, so the frigate. Let's stay in the ocean here. One tile at a time. I don't want to get into trouble here with my frigate. All right, so here's what's great about this. I can move him right into position. They have the quadrireme, so and he can bombard for free, but he's going to he's going to have to come out here. So let's try to lure him out. In fact, it doesn't matter where I go, he's going to be able to hit me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to bombard the city. Now what this will do is it'll allow me to build up the experience for this frigate. All right, and if they decide to start purchasing naval units to come out and attack me, I can just blast them right back. I am uh, vulnerable to being attacked, but the Quadrarim will not be uh, um, a threat for the frigate. And once his uh, health gets too low, I can just sail him back, heal him up, and come back. Raid right again. Alright, so next turn, let's keep an eye on what happens here. The front lines have been set. Uh, no, I'm not giving you any niter. We're making a crap ton of niter per turn. Eight per turn. The world wants them. We ain't giving it to them, though. Alright, so they're moving their Janissary army back. See, that's good. So they're worried. And they did come to us asking for peace. Uh, I think I clobbered their military, man. It's, 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 it's a great idea to combine your forces, but that cavalry unit that we killed, you know, that was three cavalry units all in one. And they're all just gone, just like that now. Alright, so what's this now? Your friendship with Coupe has run its course and will have to be renewed. Well, Coupe, I think we're still friends, right? Uh, he doesn't like, he's denounced uh, Hungary. Doesn't like the Ottomans. Friendly. Oh, hell yeah. Declare ah. friendship. Yeah, baby. All right, alliances. Let's create a, uh, a military alliance. Yeah, there you go. All right, so I got an alliance with Coupe. I got an alliance with the Manator and with Christina. No one better be messing around with my friends. Uh, Calgary. All right, so Calgary needs to get powered up. What the hell are the Russians doing? The Russians from the, the Eastern Orthodoxy Russians are looking to convert... Um, the Islamic city of Calgary. <laughs> Alright, Stockholm is going down, but they still have the, uh, they still have the walls up. Don't know what's happening here. I'd love to know what's going on down here. Yeah, the barbarians are still messing around with Shanghai. Are the, uh, the, are they at war with, uh, Russia? No, they're friendly with Russia. So Russia and Sweden are fine with their borders. Man, I mean Russia and Scotland, sorry. Poor Sweden right here in the middle. That's rough. All right, so in Calgary, we have to build that coal power plant. We want the power. All right, so there you go. And that's that city is all by itself, so it's not going to influence any other city. Uh, we got the factory done in Montreal, and it looks like Ottawa is powering Montreal. All right, so we have electricity in Montreal, Toronto, and Ottawa. So Montreal, you got the factory done. We don't need an ancient wall in uh, in Montreal. We have enough amenities and housing, so the water park is not necessary right now. Uh, some wonders might not be a bad idea, but you know what? I want to improve everything. So just like Toronto, let's get a few builders out here, all right? Uh, there you go, there you go. Ottawa, we got the theater square completed, so let's get the amphitheater done next. Yeah, I need these, I need these uh, basic buildings done. Factory done in Boktree. The music's kicking in, man. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like the coal power plant will give electricity to Boktree. So Boktree, because we're out here, let's go to the Renaissance walls just in case the Ottomans do fight back. Uh, railroad. 
you down here railroad we almost have our railroad completely finished so what i'm going to do with this guy is i want to get the railroad going out here to sweden just in case goatberg gets captured um, i'm going to get a railroad going to goatberg and then swinging back up here to calgary so i can go this way or around this way all right might as well we got plenty of uh, coal per turn uh, you get on the city, and now we've brought Tarsus into the mix on the railroad, alright? So the railroad is connecting all of our cities, essentially. Uh, alright, so let's see what we got here. So, Travel, uh, Garp, tra Travelus Garp. Uh, if I bombard it, it does a little bit of damage, so it's gonna take 11 turns. Now, let me just think here. If I want to, yeah, if we're gonna get to Moreau, we have got to almost bypass this city. Hmm. I could always just attack it. I'm just worried about these other guys. Nah, you just just stick to the plan. If we don't get the military emergency, whatever. Just stick to the plan, alright? You know what you're going to do. You're going to bombard the hell out of them. Alright, now next up. Uh, you. We're going to go in here. We're just going to do a little scouting. So they got a night unit. They got an encampment with no bombard. And they have a bombard. And this is, the big, this is the big danger right here. The Ottomans. Now I think this thing is vulnerable as hell. So I'm going to go up here. Just see what they got. All right, so if I attack him, I got a bunch of night that. That cavalry might be in trouble. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep him. We're gonna keep him out of range of the bombard. All right, don't want to give him a free attack. Uh, that's bombard range. This one is not. So we're gonna move you up there. Uh, I don't want to put this guy here. Actually, yeah, I can put him there. There you go. Because he's in the tree now. He's got some cover. I can bring you down that way. There you go. Another cavalry unit right there. Alright. Musketmen. Uh, you're stuck there. Alright, you're going to go there. Musketmen, you're going to go there. Alright, he can only get attacked by one direction, so that's fine. Uh, and then we want to surround this city. You're going to move up. So we got these guys going for that city. Uh, the more military... Musketman cores are on their way. Get up on the railroad. There you go. Uh, you, we're going to connect to the rest. Uh, we're not going to attack. Remember, we want them attacking us first. We're going to stay put. All right. Uh, stay put. You're going to stay put. Can this guy bombard? No, he can't. You guys are all going to stay put. Staying put. Oh, he can't bombard. What the hell? He can. I don't know. What <laughs> the... Why can this guy not... Maybe because... Was he running on the railroad? Why can this guy not bombard there? We're within two tiles. Interesting. Don't know why that is. But I don't want to use these units to attack because... Uh, will he die? This guy's not in danger of being too attacked. Neither is that guy. So yeah, we can. Alright, so he can attack you. There you go, we gotta be quick. Yeah, he he's hurt, but the Janissary Corps won't kill him. And there you go. And if the Janissary Corps comes out, I can move them back. These guys are coming in. We gotta, we gotta take this city down. All right, so they moved their guy out to the waters. Big mistake for them. Bam, baby. Quadrine. Meet frigate. <laughs> Get the hell out of my Canadian waters. All right, or soon to be Canadian waters. It's more like it. All right, all right. So, Crossbowman, you're going to go back in Boktree. There you go. Uh, we're still saving up that nighter for two more musketmen. Builders are on their way. Getting power. All right, looks good. So let's go next. Oh, let's go next turn. Keep an eye on their uh, the front lines right here. So I want to see what this Janissary Corps does. Does he attack one of these two guys? If we lose one of these two guys, it sucks. But um, oh yeah, see what I mean? There you go. There's the backup. You oh, this guy's dead. This guy's dead for sure. He's dead for sure. Really? I thought they were gonna bring their Janissaries down, their knights, and attack with this guy. Oof. All right, so that's a big unit right there. That is the heavily. That's the upgrade from the knight unit. All right, heavy cavalry. The Curacer. Curacet. Curacet. Cur... Fuck. <laughs> I'm butchering it. I know I am. Do, 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 do. Alright, so... We got this builder. We want to improve all these tiles around here. Toronto. Hang on a sec. Toronto, give me another builder. Alright. Let's just take some turns here and get some builders out. Uh, Victoria, we got the factory done. Now we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need a coal uh, power plant here for uh victoria to help out uh you down here bang right there you right there 
So there you go. You can see the new railroad. We got one coming down here from Victoria, leading straight to Hagmatan. We're also going to get it over here to pass our gay day, which it also goes up here. So you got a nice little diamond railroad. But also along the front line, we're going to go right here. All right, from district to district, defensive district to district, down here up to Quebec City. So if at any time I need to bring units here, 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 I can just, you know, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, all right, now do I want to go around? Yep, I want to continue to build the railroad this way. Let's go in every which direction I want to be able to uh, to move. All right, bombard, get going. Bam, baby. All right, taking him down. And bam, baby. Taking him down. You know what? I think I might want to do here. Can I not build? Oh, I need a... Uh, right, you need... Okay, you need all that to get a military engineer. What about you? Can I get a military engineer here? Where can I... Where do I have my encampments at? Uh, was it Quebec City? Military engineer? Yeah. How much is it going to cost for a military engineer? 680? Yeah, do it. Do it. I'm going to send this guy uh, down here to help out building some railroads. So that he can actually get us to Moroi quicker. Because we only have 10 turns left to get this military emergency done. I've got to do it. We've got to find a way. Are right, you. Get that railroad done. There you go. Uh, Alright, so we bombarded. Um, Let me just think here. Now, this guy's in trouble if I don't move him out. He is certainly in trouble. So, what we're going to do is the old switcheroo. You're going to come back, baby. Alright, you did a good job. This is why I have the reinforcements. They can attack me, and then I just replace that guy who got attacked with a fresh, uh, with a fresh military unit, and then just keep repeating. We can beat them. Uh, now, hang on a second. Let me go back over here and see what we got. Yeah, more knights. So if I attack that uh, bombard, I can hurt it, but they're gonna do a lot of damage back, and uh, it's not hurting us right now up there. So I'm gonna leave it. We want to get our front lines again. Nope, fortify, fortify, fortify. All right, musketmen, get behind all of these cavalry so you can help out. There you go, right up there. You, you're still healing up. You're healing up. Uh, you and you, just fully healed. We're not going to attack the city this turn. Um, all right, so just keep on bombarding this city. And we're going to get this frigate nice and experienced, all right? There you go, three plus experience. Uh, all right, so let me just think here. So this cavalry unit is in danger, but this guy is hurt now. So they had a better chance of killing him the last time. But if they decide to go one, two, three, four, he's going to die. But that'll also leave one, two, three units stranded. And I should have this city the next turn. So one, two, it's going to be close, man. To get there in ten turns, it's going to be close. Let's do our due diligence. To take a look around the map. Oh my god, look at the Russian missionaries, man. Apostles. The Russian apostles. Uh, I think the walls are going back up. This district still doesn't have any uh, strength to it, but I don't know. I don't see the city falling, and they're building some uh, Carolines. The strong unit. All right. Well, let's go next turn. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Uh, Musketman. No, you're going to stay right behind. I need that uh, extra military strength from, uh, from flanks. Your pledge to the Swedish Empire to move the troops on the border has been fulfilled. Oh, well, we're allies, Christina. All right, here we go, here we go. They're attacking here. These guys are now nice and hurt. All right, but is it going to be multiple attacks? No, he wants to make peace. Fuck that. I'm coming for our for Moroi. I'm coming for my allies' capital and for the for the for the memory of the Grim Volunteers. All right, you slaughtered them out in the desert. Now we're coming for your freaking city that you conquered. All right, Eureka, your nation is now powered. However, your scientists are already hard at work at developing alternative energy sources. All right, that's good. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Refining, nice. All right, so our bombard unit got an upgrade. Now, I'm not going to use that upgrade because that's a turn. Uh, right now, I want to try to get to Moroi as fast as possible, all right? So we are just going to do the same thing and use the bombard to attack the city. All right, bam, attack it, very nice. Now, here's the plan, all right? I want to go into the city with this cavalry corps. So it's not gonna kill it just yet. So first up, I'm going to use this musketman. All right, attack. Because once these guys attack, they'll be safe from this side. All right, this cavalry, if I attack, I might take the city by uh, going in there. So yeah, let's try to take it here. Oh my God. 
Did he take this? Oh, jeez, he did take the city. All right, good. <laughs> All right, so what that does is it puts our cavalry that was injured into the city to uh, defend itself. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, I'm going to hold on to this city because I'm going to trade it to Moroi when I liberate their capital so they can have that extra. All right, so yeah, I'm going to keep it. The reason I want to keep it as well is for right now is I want to... Um, I want to have a place where I can heal my units, all right? So there you go. Nine turns left. They still don't have a walls up in Moroi. We can uh, overlook Ankara. But are they going to bring their military units now up to the battle? That's the question. All right, so Muscomen, you get in here. All right, we're going to continue to move the line. Move in the line. Move up. Move up. There you go. We got the line ready to go. You're over there. Uh, you're there. Musketmen, you're going to be moving up to the railroad you're gonna be moving up to the railroad where is my military engineer you sir get your ass over here look how quick he moves man i love it i love the damn railroads they're so useful boogie boys boogie all right you we want to get this railroad going all around this uh this mountain just in case we need to use it uh fortify you all right, fortify you. Now, again, I could go after this guy, but we're not playing that game right now. We're playing the mobilization game. We're trying to move our army forwards without losing a single guy. All right, so I can't be uh, going out trying to attack, guys. All right, so you can see this guy, the frigate, just keep on bombarding them. In fact, what I can do is I can uh, I can raid their coast. Yeah, I'll go for, like, their uh, coastal raids to slow them down a little. Uh, bombard me. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, we just got another great engineer, Gustav Eiffel. Oh, did he build the Eiffel Tower? I'm going to guess he did. Biography. Uh, I'm not reading that. Uh, 480 production towards wonder construction. Recruit. All right, so I don't know which wonder I want to build next. Uh, Ruhr Valley could be nice. Hermitage. Oh, wouldn't be bad. I don't need to build it here, though. What about, like, Calgary? Uh... Ooh, Ruhr Valley right there in Calgary to help out production. Yep, that's going to do. What else does the Ruhr Valley do? Let me just... 20% uh, production in the city, 1% or 1 plus production in, for each mine and quarry in this city. Uh, there's a mine right there, mine right there, mine right, quarry right there. Oh, hell yeah. Ruhr Valley belongs in Calgary. Mine, mine, oh yeah. All right, and it's on a tile that's not going to even take that much. So that's real good. All right. Uh, good. Now, where's my engineer? He's right over here. All right. I could just move him to Calgary, or I could just transfer. Hey, okay, there you go. So, he'll get there. He'll be available the next turn. Uh, you, sir. You're going to get down there. Get that road done. You, into the city. Get that railroad done. So, that city's now connected. You, we're going to go up here and connect Calgary. So, if Calgary needs to get to pass our gate A quickly, they can. Amphitheater done in Ottawa. Uh, let's get the art museum done next. We want those culture buildings. Halifax completes the coal power plant. All right, so when I look at cities that need power, but it's like the eastern side of Canada is good. We just got to go out west now. Victoria is getting a coal power plant, and uh, Calgary, once it's done the Ruhr Valley, I'll get back to it. Hagmatana and Passar Gay Day as well both need it, so... Past our gate, they just completed the medieval walls, renaissance walls. We need walls up in the front line. We don't know what Hungary's going to do. So we'll pass uh, the factories for right now. Coal power plant in Halifax done. Uh, I don't think we need a renaissance wall in Halifax. So let's go build her. Yeah, I want, I want to have all the tiles uncovered. Because we're almost at that time now where there's nothing in between our cities. Like we have everything. So I want to have everything improved. That'll also give us housing and all that stuff. Uh, you will just work on the monument. We're not keeping this city. We're going to be trading it to Moroi. Or to the Nubian, sorry. All right. And uh, I think that's it. So let's go next turn. Oh, before we do, let me just check, take a look at the Swedes. Yeah, I think their, uh, their, uh, their walls are going back up. So they're good. Next turn. Yo, Nubia, you want to help out with this war at all? You got one freaking Nubian pikeman. Jeez. Build up a military next time. Oh, and look at this. We're going to get the Mounties up next, which, I don't know, are they a better unit than the Cavalry units? The Cavalry Corps? That's the case. That could be very useful. Oh, my God. That was not good. Did you see that unit that they had? That was a field a cannon. That's the upgrade from Crossbowman. We've got to get to Moroi quick. We've got to get to Moroi before they put up a damn uh, walls. Uh, and also, oh, yeah, we got to get make sure that this city doesn't uh, uh, rebel. All right, so hang on a second. Our expression of con... Uh, con <laughs> Conservation, I was going to say a conversation. Conservation will define humanity's future Let's and the modern era. And pray. 
I don't know to whom. Is there a patron saint of ballistics yet? Adam Savage. All right, so we now have the field cannon and the uh, caresser. Water and air, the two essentials on which life depends, have become global garbage cans. Yikes. All right, so resource management, all improved aluminum and oil, gives us one plus per turn. The naturalist, a late game civilian who can create a single national park. I've never created a national park. I don't even know how to do it. Uh, Mounties, Canadian unique modern era unit, can create a national park. So the Mounties can create a national park. Five plus combat strength when fighting within two tiles of a national park. So more of a defensive unit. Um, what's it called? Uh, and additional 5 plus combat strength when fighting within 2 tiles of a national park you own. So, I don't know if he's going to be any better. And then, awards 3 envoys allows the building of national parks and the purchase of naturalists. So, conservation. Interesting. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Modern road is unlocked. Alright. Hagmatana, we're going to have to get some power. So, we just completed the factory. I want the renaissance walls now that we've unlocked them. Get that stuff done. Uh, we got the roads done. Let me get down here and get another road just on the... Yeah, we'll go down here next to Tarsus. Alright, so, railroad. There you go. You now. We're gonna go out this way to pass our gay day. You, we're gonna go north to Calgary. There you go. Uh, you, we're going to try to hurry up with the Aurora Valley. There you go. So, 15 more turns. Should only take like 5 turns to get done. Uh, Hagmatana needs power. Yeah, we'll get to that. So we just got ballistics done. What do we want to go for next? Hmm. Banking wouldn't be a bit. You know what? Sanitation. Sanitation so we can get the sewer built in every single uh, city, which will give us two plus housing. And uh, step well improvements receive one plus housing. I don't even know what that is. Medic. Yeah, I want that. Sanitation. It'll pick up scientific theory along the way. Which is one plus fruit, food from the plantation improvement, which is good. And also banking, uh, which will give us um, the upgrade from the market. So that's good. Uh, you now. All right, so we want to get straight to Moroi. So get out here. Yeah. Oh, that's why they took an extra turn. Because there's, there's, that's only like a classical road. All right, so you're going to get your ass out there. Uh, we want to... Hang on a second, Governor. We want to move you to Trab, uh, Trablescarp so it doesn't uh, rebel. Or is it? Travel Scar. It's still only going to be minus four. That's okay. We've got to slow it down. Rebellion in ten turns now. Good. So that's uh, more than the emergency. So we'll be able to trade it. Uh, Alright. Very good. Alright. So that's going to be a tough nut to crack. The Janissary in the in the district. But we got to move forward. So here's where we start to move forward, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in fact, I don't know if I want to go into that tile because I don't know what Ankara has. And if it's got a bombard unit, it can hit those guys. So I think I'm gonna only going to go in these tiles, these four. All right, so let's move forward with the cavalry first. Let's see what happens. A bunch of knight units. Now, knights, not that uh, big of a deal. We cannot upgrade our cavalry into mounties. So... I don't know if mounties are... Uh, let's see how much combat strength. Melee strength is 60. These guys melee strength 72, but they're a core. I don't know. I don't know if cavalry are stronger than mounties. Let me just... You know what? Here. They might be the exact same unit. Let's see. Mounty and cavalry. Uh, 62, 60... Yeah, the cavalry is a little bit stronger. The mounty doesn't take any horses. And it's cheaper to maintain. And if you have him defending near a national park, it can go up to like 65. Now, nah, you know what? Mounties ain't a big deal. So we're just going to stick with the cavalry for right now, ladies and gents. Uh, so we just got conservation done. Where is that at? Uh, conservation. All right, so next mass media. You know what? We're going to want mobilization so we can get the army, the three military units in one tile. All right, so let's pick that up. We'll get Scorched Earth. Uh, all right, not bad. Plot. Ooh, that's not a bad one for producing settlers and uh, buying plots. So if you want to, like, get a brand new island settled, you can just spend all your money and get it done. That's cool. And uh, four plus great general points per turn. But we really want mobilization. So we'll go for that. Uh, Tarsus. All right. So we got the medieval walls done in Tarsus. Yeah, we want the walls. We want the walls done. Actually, don't get the... Oh, we don't need the coal power plant. Right. So Renaissance era walls. Get that done. Quebec City. We just got the Renaissance walls done. Good. Uh, so let's get that military academy done. 
It's just the final building for the encampment, which we already have. 25% combat experience for all land units trained in this city. Uh, strategic resource stockpiles increased by plus 10. And allows cores and armies to be trained directly. Alright, so yeah, I can actually come out of this city and uh, just build a, uh, a uh, cavalry army right away. So let's just, yeah, let's just build up all of that stuff. Alright, so now we've got to move our bombards up. These are the important units. So I can move the bombard there. Oh yeah, moving you there. And I can move you. You're going to be behind, which is unfortunate. But he didn't have a road to work on. So we got to get this uh, this uh, railroad done. Uh, you're going to stay put in that. You're going to stay put to heal up. You're going to stay put to heal up. Uh, Alright, so let's move... Yeah, you're staying put. we got to protect the bombard now. You're going to move up there. Now, here's the problem. We are in range of their bombards. That bombard's got to die. Yeah, that bombard's got to go. So, i got to hurt this bombard now. But yeah. All right, because that's... I, I know we're releasing a lot of these other military units. There's a lot of them there. But that bombard, it's, it's a free unit that when it attacks, it doesn't get damaged. So, we have to make sure that their range units are taken care of. So, that's going to really hurt their bombard. Won't be able to do uh, as much damage as before. Musketmen, you're going to move up right there. Uh, in fact, we're going to sweep around this city a little bit. All right, because I want to I want to get to these top units. Uh, you, you're going to move that way. You're going to move that way. In fact, now you're going to move back and we're going to move that guy up. There you go. Uh, Bombard, can you hit anything? No, you cannot, so you're going to stay put. Musketmen, uh, we are going to go... Yeah, we're going to go this way. We got to get the railroad done on that tile. That's what's slowing everything down. Uh, what do we got over here? We're still healing up that cavalry, and we still have a crossbowman unit right there. Now, the good news is that our cavalry is much stronger than the knights. These knights are not strong. They need to be cuirassers, this unit. Um, but this guy is still very strong, and I don't know what they're building. Hopefully, they do not get a wall. doesn't look like they're building a wall. So, uh, we just got to get in there. Eight turns to get Moroi. Eight turns, ladies and gents. We got five envoys. I'm going to save my envoys until the war is done. I want to I wanna know which... Uh, City states are on my side and which ones aren't. Uh, Valletta. Bologna. Yeah, Bologna's doing a good job bringing some of these military units down here to attack. Good job. Uh, all right. So we just want to get that railroad done around our borders. You're going to stay put. Why can't I attack? Yeah, it's like sometimes they can attack off too. Sometimes they can't. No, this guy can't. Maybe he can't shoot over those tiles. I don't know. Uh, frigate. All right. Just keep on bombarding. See the experience? I think I'm going to get to level 2 right here. Yeah, there you go. Promotion available. So, <laughs> we'll just build up the military that way. Uh, stay put. All right. Now, here's going to be a big turn. What are the uh, the Ottomans going to do here? All right. Repair that resource. There you go. That's going to be more niter per turn. And that should help out Calgary with its production. So, we just got to... Or Vancouver, I should say. Uh, Vancouver, we just got to... I mean, if I could just... Oh, there you go. Yeah, that works. All right, so now I got them focused on production only. So they're working those big tiles, and they're maintaining their population. So there you go. That's not going to take long. So nine turns, like 12 turns for two privateers. That's good. Uh, and I can also... what are, I, got, I got money. Yeah, let's do it. Lighthouse, granary. All right. Yeah, lighthouse will give us the extra... Yeah, and monument. Yeah, let's do it. I got money to spend. Spend it. Uh, we also have... Uh, what's it called faith to spend so musketman get that thing done also there you go and i think i can get another musketman done if i move him out and get it yep another musketman there you go all right so there's two more musketmen we had the 40 niter i'll link those two guys up they'll, they'll join our army still eight turns so i need those reinforcements popping in uh next turn ladies and gents let's keep an eye on the ottomans what do they do uh, yeah, absolutely. You can have an embassy in our, uh, in our borders. That's good. If he's asking for an embassy, maybe we don't have to go to war. Oh my god. Big units. Big time units. Big time units. Oh, they're attack- Okay, they're attacking the musketmen up there. Attacking my cavalry right there. This is good, though. This is good. Yeah, they're attacking multiple units. That musketman's in danger, but I think he's covered now. Yeah, all right. So, we got their units to come out at us. That's what we wanted, and we didn't lose anyone. All right, this is good. All right, so, uh, yeah, I got that. Uh, I can get another trade route. Yeah, we got the upgrade for this guy, so I'm going to upgrade him to combat strength versus district defenses. <laughs> Just keep on bombarding it. All right, but now, here we go. We have the real test. 
All right, so we want to continue to move our bombards up, but we have the wall to deal with. So we're not going to move them up this turn. We're going to use them. All right, so you. Can you use? Yes, you can. Yeah. Hit him. You. Uh, no, we want this guy dead. This is a this is a big unit. That's a cavalry core. We want him dead. All right, and we do not want to injure our units while killing them. Like, we want them to be as, as easy to kill as possible. All right, so this guy, he has got to find a way to survive. So you're going right back down there. All right? You. Get that railroad done. There you go. There's another road. Now he can move all the way up there. Good. All right. So this is still going to be nine turns for that. Good. So you guys are healed up. Good. Can you get over there? Yes, you can. All right. All right. All right. So you, horseman, you're going to go right there. All right. So that's a, that's a dangerous unit right there. That is an upgrade field core. All right. Field cannon core. We're going to have to... Uh, you have to figure out a way to get around that. So a bombard, boom, boom. This unit is in a little trouble, but it's on. It's in. Uh, it's got some defense, so I think we're going to be okay with that guy. I'm going to draw some attack out. Uh, you, uh, we've got to kill this guy. Yeah, we have to kill this guy. So I think you're going to be safe. He can only get attacked by like two people. Well, one. Well, oh, but if he moves there, all right, all right, I know what I'm doing. So you're going to attack first. Yep, you're going to attack first because you're staying back. Alright, you're going to move up there. Kill that core. There you go. So the core is taken care of. That's two cavalry units dead. Uh, this guy's still kind of strong. He's going to have to take a full-on Janissary attack, but I think he'll be fine. And then we can move up this musketman right here to protect the bombard. So we got the line still, and we've taken out one of their guys. Now, this guy's hurt. This guy, we have to move the line back. We cannot support the line out there. We have to get the line back right here. So, uh, where can I move you? I can move you back safely. Good. Uh, let me just think. You. You're going to move there, and you. Can you, you can't move there. All right. Oh, that guy's in trouble. This guy is in trouble. This guy is in trouble. Uh, actually, no, 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 he's not. No, no, he's not. He's not in trouble. Uh, unless, no, there's a river there. Unless they can get around the river. No, there's no way. They can't get around the river and then cross it again. He's safe. He's safe. Fortify yourself. Uh, and then you, you got to get back here behind all these guys. All right. So this guy's in danger. This cavalry corps is in danger because he could get attacked by one, two different attacks. Uh, three different, because the ball, oh, the bombard is still alive and it got an upgrade. Yeah, this guy may die. This is a rough, but this is a rough battle, man. This is a rough battle. All right, so hang on a sec. Uh, yeah, you're gonna move there. You're gonna go right there. You're almost done. We're still healing these guys up, so they're gonna be good. Uh, cavalry, good. Cavalry's done. I'm gonna need you. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna move the cavalry here. I'm going to move the cavalry up here because there's a lot of forces up there. All right, so there's the cavalry coming. And then what we also want to do is we're going to move you there, musketman, and then your second guy right there. So they're along the railroad, and then we're going to form the core right there. All right, so there's another musketman to help out. Uh, I can also get a field cannon to help out as well. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so this guy's on his way, this archer, and I'm going to give him the upgrade to field cannon. So he's on his way to help out as well. Uh, what about you? How long is it going to take to get to get there? Seven turns? Two turns? Yeah, get your ass over there, alright? So, this, uh, this guy's on his way as well. We're going to have to send all the military units we have. But, uh, some field cannons could certainly help out with some bombards against units that, uh, get out of position. So, boom. There you go. Your progress towards Scorched Earth has advanced considerably. So, those two guys need to get back to defense afterwards. But for right now, they're headed there. Uh, we got the builder done in Halifax. More builders, more builders. Just get them done. Uh, you. All right. So, yeah, just send them up here to the north because of the NHL teams. I'll focus on building next. I'm just a little bit all over the place right now because of the war. Uh, you. We want to continue to build up those railroads. Stay put. Stay put. Uh, you. Now, was this tile destroyed? I don't know which tiles were destroyed from the volcano. I'll have to go through them each. Here we go. All right, so Le Montreal Canadiens, ladies and gentlemen. Completely surrounded by, um, by snow and tundra, so it should be like a plus six. Uh, all right, you. Yeah, we want to continue this railroad. You. Get to the Chahokia Mounds. Finish that railroad. You. We are going up to Calgary. All right. Uh, you, yeah, we're gonna get that Ruhr Valley. Only five turns for the Ruhr Valley, or four turns. That's real good. 
All right, production. So Montreal got a builder done. I uh, got another builder done. All right, I should have a, a nice plethora of builders that I can just send everywhere in my empire. Because I have the railroad now, so they can move around real quickly. So let's just get a bunch done. And once this war is over with, then I can decide what I want. But my mind is focused right now on this battle. So I think this guy could die. We could have one guy who dies here. All right. Oh, here we go, though. Yes, yes. The Nubians are bringing units out to help. Yes, the city bombard as well. Yes, that is... Oh, the district bombard. That is so useful. Every little bit counts, man. And if they attack that guy instead of my guys... All right, here we go. Attacking the musketmen. Attacking the musketmen. Oh, he could die. He could die here. Attacking those musketmen. Good. So they're attacking multiple units, not singling in on one target. Attacking their pikemen. Oh, the pikemen fell. I'll, I'll make up for it. Oh, man. Look at this. They're going after the new one. Okay, that's good, though, for us. Oh, oh musketmen died. Yeah, the musketmen. Yeah, we lost the musketmen. The, yeah, the, uh, that field core. Oh, my God. That unit is strong. Uh, they're willing to give us a great work for it. No, I'm going to refuse that. All right, we've got to... Oh, they got two of them. That's why they got two of them. We've got to kill those units. Welcome to the World Congress. Begin voting. All right, so units of the chosen... Oh, this is huge. Okay. Uh, all right, this is huge. All right, I got to spend all of my diplomacy. So essentially, I can make a certain unit have extra combat strength or a certain unit have less combat strength. So when I look at what they have and I look at what we have, range units. If I made, if I made range units weaker, that would help out against these field cores. Uh, yeah, so you know what? But then again, I could also make all of my units stronger. Hmm. Combat strength. They're only losing five combat strength. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I should do. If I improve my cavalry, their cavalry gets improved. I don't want to improve melee units. That's for damn sure. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I, I know what I want to do. We're going to do this. Chosen class is going to lose 5% combat strength range units. All right? I know I'm bringing my units as well, but... Uh, that's huge. Those two units are freaking powerhouses. Uh, sure, I'll vote for myself for the district. Uh, and Nobel Prize in Physics. Sweden wishes to acknowledge scientific leadership. We shall see who the best fosters, who best fosters the sciences. Generating great engineers, scientists, and merchant points. All right, so sure. I'll go for the Nobel Prize. Submit. Iowaii. All right. Heavy cavalry get... F oh, Jesus. Who voted for it? Let's see. Uh, oh, thanks a lot, everyone. Everyone put one vote for heavy cavalry. Heavy... What? The ch I... If I voted seven... I mean, this guy did melee. So how did cavalry... How did anti -ca heavy cavalry win it? Hmm. I have no clue how that worked. I mean, because not all... Eight voted... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. So, it, was, it wasn't the fact that it was different. It was just the, that that outcome A. And then they choose the best one of outcome A. I see. Oh, my God. I wasted all my votes for nothing. I got the new culture bombs, though. So that's good. And uh, Nobel Prize in Physics has passed. All right. They said 24-hour banking. But I didn't have that much time. Stephen Wright. All right, so the Nobel Prize, we'll worry about that later. Focus on this. So heavy cavalry is stronger now? Is that it? Oh, my God. They're knights. Uh, an enemy spy from an unknown civ has eluded capture. All right, so thank God I got my civ or my spy defending our gold. Uh, your muskman was destroyed by an Ottoman field cannon. Yeah, and I think it was because he was in the ditch as well. But um, that's okay because we're able to replace our musketman with faith. So that's good. Ah, uh, field cannon. All right, blah, 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 blah. All right, so the good news is that these units should be nice and weak to the cavalry, but damn, man, that's so bad. I don't know if we're going to be able to get Moroi in six turns. I mean, ugh. We have to deal with their military one. No, the, the southern part is not working. We have to, we have to squash their, yeah, we have to squ squash their units. Now, the good thing about having them up here is that, um, the city bombard and the district bombard will help out. And uh, because they're melee units, if they're attacking the city, that's going to slow them down. Uh, all right, so you, we're going to have to continue to build up some, uh, some what's it called, some roads or some railroads. 
Uh, we've got to get away from these guys. So hang on. If I bombard you, it doesn't do a lot of damage. These, these, these classes are... These guys are outranking our guys now. All right, let me think. Let me think. No, we're going to have to pull back. We're going to have to... It's way too strong. And they have that district. And they have, they have too many military units. If I don't pull back now, we may die. Yeah, let's pull back and use our uh, our general a little bit. Or our uh, our dude. Alright, alright, alright. So you... I am going to... Yeah, we're going to go on this line right here. We have to pull back. We have to pull back in a big way. Alright, how far back can all you guys go? Three, four... Alright, so all of them can move back. Thank God I have this railroad right here. But this is just not working out. Alright, so you... We're going to get you down here. You... Yeah, we want them on this line. So, you, just move back one. You, right there. You, you're going to go on that line. Uh, cavalry unit, you're going to go down here. Heal yourself up. You, you, you. Uh, you guys. Uh, in fact, what we're going to do, you move there. You guys are going to move right there. Now, we got to get these bombards out of the way. They can't be on the front lines. So, yeah, just move back. Just move back. Oh, shit, I should have put that guy there. Fuck. All right, so Bombard, we're going to move you all the way there. Bombard, we're going to move you all the way there. And this guy is going to be moved up. There you go. So we got one of them as well. Uh, yeah, you're going to go all the way back here, my man. In fact, hmm. Okay, yeah, you're going to move. In fact, you're going to move... Yeah, you're going to switch with this guy. The cavalry's stronger. I don't want my musketmen to just be picked off. Because um, when they're on the desert and they're running a flat terrain with uh, nothing to help them out, they're pretty weak against these uh, bigger units. All right, fortify. All right, so the way I have it set right now is any units that they bring up, I can bombard with our, with our bombards or our field cannons. We just need to kill a few of their units to get going back into the right direction. But I don't, I don't like the look of this, man. <laughs> the Ottomans have a strong army. I'm glad I didn't wait, though. If we would have waited, they would have just got stronger and stronger. Did I not put did I not put a railroad there? Let's see. Shit, I gotta go back there now. Fuck. Uh, production. All right, so we got the builder done. Get another builder. All right, here we go. How far up can you go? Oh, God damn. All right, you there. You... Oh, come, what? How come I can't move you on that tile, but I can move you there? Uh, 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 uh. What about you there? Can you move it all? Switch with this guy. What the f <sighs> Okay. Dude. Why can't you... Why aren't you moving there? I want to switch... It's set... <gasps> okay. Uh... I don't get it. I don't get it. Alright, whatever, whatever. It's not working. Just, just stop. Just, yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, son of a bitch. I wanted to move this guy up further. Still move you? Yeah, alright, so I can, I can switch them. I don't know why it wouldn't let me switch. It says this guy can move. It says he can move there, no problem. And it says this guy can move there, no problem. So you should just be able to switch those two. Don't know why you can't. Alright, fortify. So we got two field cannons ourselves. They're not uh, cores. I could always combine them, but I want multiple units right now. We've got to lure. The, they have way too much of an army. Way too much. You down there. Go you still building up that railroad to pass our gay day? You oh my god, get out of the way. Jesus, he was in my way there, and now he's in my way there. Uh alright, so you might as well just get down here, start improving some of these tiles. Uh you we don't need to improve that tile, so that's good. What about this tile? We'll figure that out the next turn. Uh you there it is. Ladies and gentlemen of Montreal, Les Montreal Canadiens, baby. There it is. The Habs are now in the NHL. Bang for Montreal. It's got to get the Ottawa Senators right there next. And we got the Toronto Maple Leafs, Ottawa Senators, and Montreal Canadiens. Uh, all right, my boat. Keep on bombarding. There you go. You'll be joined by some privateers soon. And once that happens, we can actually take the city. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we are good. Oh, man, I almost left this guy all by himself. That would have been real bad. All right, so you know what? If he's all by himself, then, yeah. You can be the one to go there. Sweet. All right, so it just didn't work out. They uh, Those two field cannons were a big difference maker. All right, but this is setting up a real good war that we could potentially have with the Ottomans. Moroi, six turns. I don't think it's going to happen, man. 
Uh, the good news is that I do have the railroad. If we could just get them to come out and attack us, if I can get a few kills. They're also going after the Nubian uh, city of Kerma. But Kerma now can bombard them back, so that's good for us. Just slow them down. It's not a lot of damage, but every little bit uh, helps. And uh, like I said, if they decide to attack Kerma, because they're... Oh my god, I mean, look at that. There you go, though. I got their Janissary army to get out. They're going after Musketmen. And they just lost a unit, so they attacked with the cavalry, and they just lost a unit. Alright, so we got one unit to die right there. That's good. Alright, alright, let me go back over here. I want to see this. Alright, so they have a knight unit that's left all by himself up here. I do like that. Uh, if I move you there... Uh, major victory, yeah. But if I move you there, is there any danger? If I move you there... I'm just trying to see the field cannons. That's what I'm trying to stay away from. Uh, if I move you there, any field cannons? No, no field cannons. So I think we're, we're good to move the, uh, the borders back. Alright, there you go. Stay put. Stay put. How many turns I got? Four turns. The city's gonna rebel. What if I put something in there? Okay, good. They don't rebel when there's somebody in there. Good. Uh, I need railroads. Railroad. There you go. Uh, we could go and attack, but again, remember, we want to set it up. Uh, bombard. No, you can't hit anything. Of course not. What about you? You move in and hit anything? Useless. Alright, so move back there. You can move it there. Attack the next turn. And I can give him his upgrade, finally. Uh, land units. There you go. Ah, uh, and now, here we go. Yes. Alright, so I have my field cannon in range to help out. And, uh, same thing with this guy. In fact, you know what? Now that we have the time... No, they both have a plus one, so I don't want to... I don't want to do that. In fact, what I could do... Can I get a field cannon yet? 660. It's going to cost a lot. What about purchasing one? Field cannon. Nope, 1320. It's going to cost way too much. I'm not going to combine them into a core, though. That would be a waste, I believe. Alright, so, you know what? Move, you move out of there. Field cannon move in there, and field cannon there. So, if any units come up, I can double bombard. Alright, uh, fortify right there. You, you're going to go right there. Actually, no, stay on the road. Stay on the road. Uh, you, you're going to go on the road, and we're going to heal up. This is a crazy war, man. This is back and forth. Fortify. Okay, now, do I want to kill this knight unit? Yeah, I can kill him. I can kill him. This musketman may be a trouble with the Janissary army, but if they come in to kill my musketman unit, then I have that Janissary army dead to right, so it's worth it. All right, there's another unit. So, they attacked me the last turn with one of their cavalry. They died, and now they've just lost another. So, there's two of their units down. All right, and I think he was a... I don't know if he was a core or not. There you go, all right? Slowly but surely. Bombard. And it's strong enough now that it's actually keeping a little bit of damage off. So once the privateers pop up in six turns, we'll be able to take that city down also. Uh, even if we don't get the military emergency done, we can still do some damage. Uh, oh my god, it's kicking in. All right, you get up there. We want to improve those tiles. Uh, don't need to improve that. What about right there? You got another builder done. Good. Uh, you know what? There's a mine right down here that you can improve. You, we want to get this road done. We didn't get this road done yet. Damn it. Taking forever. Get that road done. Yeah, and here we go. Connected. All right, so Hagmatana is connected to Passar Gede, which is connected to Quebec City. That whole front line is connected. And uh, and now, almost the next turn, Calgary should be connected to Passar Gede as well. Uh, it looks like Stockholm is just doing is doing just fine, I should say. Uh, yeah, we'll get the zoo done for some amenities. Why not? Uh, builder done. I think we're good for builders. Let's get that renaissance wall done. All right, and, uh, let's go one more turn. Yeah, we're already, like, an over an hour into this. My God. I thought I could, I thought I could take them on in the war. Apparently not. Let's see what they do. All right, so they're attack. Oh, no, no, That's the, uh, that's the city of Tur uh, Kerma attacking their Janissary army. Good. Leave them there. Please let me attack them. Please let me go after them. Uh, they're moving their uh, their heavy cavalry back, attacking my musket men. They should be okay though. They're gonna be stronger. There we go. Yes, their janissaries attack my musket men. Yes. There we go. That's the key. And they're bringing their other military units over here. Oh, where's my frigate? Oh shit! They just took the city of Abu Simple. These poor Nubians, man. They're getting slaughtered. And you guys didn't want me to help out my allies. You just want this to happen? What the hell? 
The poor Nubians, man. I'm so sorry for what they've been doing to you. I see anything. What I love, though, is that they brought that Janissary right there for me. Soldiers march in formation, calling cadence. I don't know, but I've been told life in Quebec gets real old. <laughs> so we got the, uh, the final upgrade there. Nice. All right, so you know what? Shit. I mean, how many moves I got? One, two, three, four. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, for God's sakes. Stay there. I was trying to get over there to bombard some of those units. Why aren't you bombarding? Why aren't you being a pain in the ass? Why are you just staying in those two tiles? Why don't you go and hit the city or something? Nah, screw that. I, mean, I ain't helping them out. I wish those two freaking barbarians would do something. Why aren't they hurting the Ottomans? You should be attacking their naval, uh, their, uh, their coastal cities. There you go, there you go. All right, so we got an upgrade for this guy, which he's going to need, but we want to kill this guy off big time. All right, so Bombard, yeah. Bombard. Take him down. We can't hit anyone with this Bombard. Uh, they did not bring up their unit, so I think we're okay. So I'm going to move this cavalry up. We'll see what we got. They did not bring up their unit, so I can move my guys. No problem here. All right, now field cannon, number one. Bang, baby. Bang. Bang. There it is. Field cannons have entered the battlefield. Uh, yeah, I don't want to move up to that tile. I don't know what's behind it. So we just want to... I can't kill him. Uh, what about you, cavalry? Let's say I move you. Let's say... Okay, okay. You get off the railroad. You, he's got to come back. Let's see how useful this railroad is for uh, attacking. Oh, it's so good. All right, so we don't want to get... We don't want to lose you. So let's get up on this tile and build a railroad that's going up to Kerma. So we get it. All these guys can move just as fast. Now, this tile is open. What I want to do is I want to take this cavalry unit, move them there, right? Then attack with this cavalry unit because we know it's not going to kill them. But the cavalry unit will be strong enough to defend after the attack from this tile. Still got enough uh, in them. And now we can use this field cannon to, again, annihilate another unit, all right? So two units the last turn, uh, unit this turn, and now we got to try to just destroy this Janissary army. Uh, so we know this guy's got an upgrade. Uh, if I move... No, I'm not going to move you there, because then he's he's at risk. We're going to move... Yeah, we're going to move this musketman there. So that no one can come in this way. Uh, we are going to... Yeah, we're going to attack with this guy. There you go. And we are going to... Hmm, I don't want to... No, we're going to attack with this guy, yeah. Alright, so move back. All right, move there and attack with the cavalry. There he is. The Janissary army has fallen, ladies and gentlemen. We've killed them. Ugh! Despite being heavily outnumbered, our, our, our cavalry has won the day. We've taken the standards from the enemy Janissaries. So that's big. Now let's see what they're... It's not going to upgrade it yet. Their military strength, 886. That's going to drop big time. And ours still 1280. All right, that's going to drop big time. So again, we have our front line. Only four turns to get to Moroi. I don't think it's going to happen unless we can magically get that railroad. But no, I, I don't think it's going to... I don't... Moroi in four turns is not going to happen. We can still liberate it. All right, we can still liberate it. Uh, if the time runs out before the members complete their objectives, target gains two plus combat strength when attacking a member unit with a city strike. Oh, man. So we really got to hope that they don't get gold. Or uh, don't, they don't get walls over there. Uh, you, I'm going to give you your upgrade. I'm going to give him Tortoise so that he can defend against ranged attacks, all right? Because those uh, field cannons are going to be a pain in the arse. Uh, choose production. All right, so we got the coal power plant done over here in Victoria. Uh, let's get the military academy done just so we can get that out of the way. Uh, we got Quebec City up and running. All right, you know what? I'm going to leave. Yeah, I don't even know because I'm not even focusing on what I got to build. We're going to leave it right there. Ruhr Valley's done in two turns. So what do you guys think? I don't think the military emergency is going to happen, but uh, I still would like to get Moroi and get Abu Simple and trade all of these three cities back to the Nubians, all right, and stop the Ottomans because they are on fire right now. And they had a strong-ass military. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit! I should have gone with Jose for Nandez! Oh my god, pitching change.
Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to shit all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.